Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. So, um, as you know, I haven't uploaded in a while, and <laughs> that's my bad. But I'm going to be better about uploading, I promise. Um, but, yeah, so today we'll be showing... I'll be showing you guys how to beat Saturday or Night 6 on P3S Simulator. Um, of course, this night is the last night to get the completion ending. And after you beat this, you'll get the connection terminated ending. And it's honestly one of my favorite endings but so this night is very similar to friday um same loadout all the same animatronics it's just everyone's more um active as you can say they move around quicker and of course that's a problem because it makes things really stressful and if you thought last night was stressful this night's even worse <laughs> so um this night is going to take you many attempts, I'm um, just saying it now. Um, it even took me maybe a few attempts, I don't even know. Um, I mean, now probably I'm better at it. But um, what I mean by that is it's just super fast paced and you might for like accidentally wait an extra second when you weren't supposed to and someone will get in. Um, that's how quick it can be because um, there's like two animatronics on each side almost at all times. And keeping the temperature down and looking at all the sides of, are is very difficult. But so the start of the night, of course, just look at the motion detector, start a task, and you can usually get one task done without any problems, without looking at any events. Um, and but it's your choice on which task you want to start. You can do printer tasks first, which are the loudest. And of course, at this point, I'm assuming you have all the upgrades, which make the tasks go by like two times um quicker and so those are extremely diff um extremely useful and of course no advertisements is super important um if you want to do this because they can definitely screw up your round if you're almost at the end and an advertisement pops up you might die and so because it creates a lot of noise for them to come towards you um but kind of with the gameplay in the background in night um five um it's pretty much the same concept just Whenever you finish a task, turn off your terminal and just listen. Um, listening is so important in this one, so you want to make sure that you have your headphones on, of course. Make sure that they're pretty high volume so you can hear any slight movements that you may have missed. Um, again, it's super important because if you miss one little thing and you turn the other way, you might be dead. So there's going to be a lot of times this night where you're turning back and forth every four seconds-ish to each side because you hear noises from each side. Um, that's very common in this, so don't be like you know just learn to not like panic when that happens because it's super easy to get out of that situation just turn everything off and just look at each side for about four seconds until you hear nothing left and once it's quiet turn on the terminal look at the motion detector start a task etc i'm pretty sure they did add an update where silent ventilation is back while the monitor's off um if you feel comfortable doing that strategy go ahead um i typically don't use silent ventilation i've never used it and you know i've turned out okay so honestly any way you do it is totally up to you but again just look at the motion detector often do your tasks and look at whichever side they're like closest to and that's pretty much the gist of it i mean you can go at however pace you want it's really up to you if you want to play it super slow you can it's just you probably have more of a risk of temperature getting to your um like to your nerves or whatever um, because if you take longer, then it's harder to maintain. But um, just complete your tasks. I would probably do the printing ones first just to get them done with. And then, you know, the five tasks that are the quickest, probably save those for the last. Because then it gets your hopes up <laughs> and then you can complete the night. But, um, but yeah, so they're, they're extremely quick. So um, just make sure that you're on top of it, looking both ways. Even if you don't think it was a noise, if you want to just be sure, you can... Just look at each side until you hear nothing for eight seconds. Count to eight seconds whenever you don't hear it, when you hear something. And if nothing happens, go back to the monitor. And then you can go ahead and continue your tasks. But um, temperature management is extremely important in this night. Um, probably the main thing. I mean, of course. But uh, just knowing when to keep your fan on. Like when you, hear, when you count to eight seconds, turn on your fan and your terminal at once. Just to get as much temperature down as you can before like someone else shows up because they will be there quick and very repeatedly and it's really annoying when your temperature gets really high because you don't have time and you get super stressed and it's just a total disaster so just make sure you're doing your best on that making sure that 
um, your temperature stays at a decent place. Whether it's in the hundreds, it doesn't matter. Um, as long as it's just not at 120. Um, whatever is comfortable for you, whatever you can keep it at and maintain is totally up to you. And it's literally just at your pace. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much this night. Just do your tasks whenever you can. You can see that I'm doing the printing one second, which it doesn't matter which, uh, like order you do them in. It's just preference. But, um, typically, um, just whatever you feel, um, there's no like, um, specific way. This night is basically up to you. Um, just with four animatronics trying to kill you, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so pretty much, yeah, that's the gist of it. Just keep your eyes, um, on the vents. Whenever you hear noise, turn that direction, count to eight seconds. If you hear them on both sides, turn to one side for four seconds, switch to the other side for four seconds, repeat that until you don't hear anything. Go back to the monitor, turn it on, open the motion detector, start a task, and then look at whichever way, whoever's closest. And yeah, just basically rinse and repeat that and this night should be pretty easy um of course it's not gonna be easy at first but trust me once you do it a few times you get super used to it and it's almost just muscle memory like immediately and um it shouldn't be too difficult i promise um i think this attempt took me one try to do this video and it shouldn't get to you. like if it gets to you too much like if you start getting mad just take a break because you'll get too eager if you're uh, frustrated and you'll probably end up you know losing more but yeah it's just like that just super easy make sure you have the upgrades make sure you're patient patience is key in this night and just make sure that everything is running smoothly and you should um get the sending right here and yeah i'll let you listen to it but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video i'm um, sorry for not uploading in a while but um i'll get to the next videos uh i'll probably do some ending videos on fnaf 6 um how to get some endings and then i'll start on a new game and yeah i'll probably go back to getting certain things that i miss in previous games but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy the rest of this and yeah thank you watch listen and be full connection terminated i'm sorry to interrupt you elizabeth if you still even remember that name. But I'm afraid you've been misinformed. You are not here to receive a gift, nor have you been called here by the individual you assume, although you have indeed been called. You have all been called here, into a labyrinth of sounds and smells, misdirection and misfortune. A labyrinth with no exit, a maze with no prize. You don't even realize that you are trapped. Your lust for blood has driven you in endless circles, chasing the cries of children in some unseen chamber, always seeming so near, yet somehow out of reach. But you will never find them. None of you will. This is where your story ends. And to you, my brave volunteer, who somehow found this job listing not intended for you. Although there was a way out planned for you, I have a feeling that's not what you want. I have a feeling that you are right where you want to be. I am remaining as well. I am nearby. This place will not be remembered, and the memory of everything that started this can finally begin to fade away, as the agony of every tragedy should. And to you monsters trapped in the corridors, be still, and give up your spirits. They don't belong to you. For most of you, I believe there is peace, and perhaps more, waiting for you after the smoke clears. Although for one of you, the darkest pit of hell has opened to swallow you whole, so don't keep the devil waiting, old friend. My daughter, if you can hear me, I knew you would return as well. It's in your nature to protect the innocent. I'm sorry that on that day, the day you were shut out and left to die, no one was there to lift you up into their arms the way you lifted others into yours. And then, what became of you? I should have known you wouldn't be content to disappear, not my daughter. I couldn't save you then, so let me save you now. It's time to rest for you and for those you have carried in your arms. This ends for all of us in communication. Congratulations on completing your work week. 
We apologize if your situation wasn't presented to you in a completely honest fashion when you first started, but it was important that your intentions and actions be genuine. Here at Fazbear Entertainment, we value fun, family, and food. But more importantly, we value our commitment to atoning for past mistakes and tying up loose ends. Thank you for your participation. There is no need for you to return to work next week as Fazbear Entertainment is no longer a corporate entity. Please accept this certificate of completion. Goodbye for now, and thank you for taking this journey with us.